pivots, and we're going to skip the pivots on your own. Maybe we'll bring back the penalty box, who knows. But what I want to do right now is explain some of the fine points on your arm throw. These are some technique things that are really going to help your arm throw. So the pivot remains the same. And we're going to do it from a real simple situation. We're in an over-under tie, and my opponent is going to try and lock his hands without penetrating. So right here, Nick's going to go and lock his hands like he's going to try and throw me. Anytime someone locks their hands like that, you have an opportunity for an arm throw. You may need to set it up, you may not. You may be pushing, you may not need to set it up. But here's the fine point that we want to concentrate on. I want my shoulder to come out past his armpit. So when he locks, as soon as he locks, I want my shoulder to get past his armpit. I want my hand as high as I can, up in the air, and I'm going to complete my pivot. And you see my watch? I make my watch disappear. That's the trick. That's going to give you a lot of extra whip on your arm throw. If you can come around and go right to your own wrist. Now, sometimes we want to time it. He takes that lock. As he takes that lock, I want to come up and meet him. Sometimes I may have to wrestle him with that lock a little bit and set it up. But again, the fine point on technique is I want you to watch my shoulder pop right underneath his armpit. I want that up there as high as I can. So I'm on my toes. I complete my pivot. As I come down, I'm going to take my own hand, cover that watch, and then cover for a fall. <clears throat> Obviously, you want to do it as fast as you can. So the point of emphasis is shoulder up high. Shoulder up high, and then turn. And on the way down, catch your own wrist. One, two, three.